Hey, what's up everybody? We on another episode of Daily Discussion. This is episode six. I'm loud. I don't even know who's right next to me. You know Damn, who I bro. am. Episode six and you gonna be here? Finally, it took a while, but I'm here. Me and you gotta talk. I don't wanna talk to you. Well, anyway, um, right now, who we have right here, um, she definitely like embraces natural hair and I love natural hair, so I'm proud yes. that she's here yes. to talk about this topic because I've been, ah, I've been dying to talk about this topic for a long time. And we have Yuma, Yuma Beauty. Yes. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You got some nice hair products, I see. Yes, yes. I bought um, my conditioner. Yeah, I need to smell this, hold on. Definitely. Hold on, hold on. Hold on real quick. That's the conditioner, um, and it's all natural. <clears throat> and then this is mango butter. You can put some on if you want. Matter of fact, I got you. Yo, this smells like woo. I got you right now. Yo, do you have a men? Do you? This is. Do I have what? This is, is it this for men? This is females or it's Males, both? Both. Okay, Whoa. good. Cause that smells this, really good. This smells like heaven, like. Yeah, they have. Mm, I can't stop smelling this. this is, I can't. I can't stop. It's, it's natural. Try this stuff. It's, it's from the good. fat of the um, mango kernel. So, like, when you eat a mango and like the seed that's left, uh -huh. they process it and they extract the fat from it. Wow. And wow. it's really, really good for your skin. This is good for like dry skin. Oh my god. What? Yeah. It's so 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 good. Oh my it's god. Good. And it's unrefined and everything. No, it's very good. Like this yeah. stuff smells really good. It's like nice. I. This smells. But that's Great. two of what I have. Um, everything else I have is like at home, so I didn't get a chance to bring it. But oh <laughs> that's the rich conditioner, and it has enzymes that basically this, basically restore this smells like awesome. dead that smells awesome. Skin cells. Wow. Twenty, you like you like the way it smells? I do. I love the way it smells. So you're gonna put you're gonna put some on your hair? Listen, I started growing my hair out, so I need some you know <laughs> some products, bro. Oh, okay, okay. I just had to make it short because you know you you finally here, so I didn't. Listen, bro, it took me five days to recover from what you said. Do you remember what you said? We're not here to talk I'm about I'm sorry, Yuma, but I gotta make a quick intermission because my heart hurt for five days here in this. I was at home and I couldn't leave because this man right here mm -hmm. had the audacity. Matt, but are you into rap or anything at all? Yeah. Do you have your own little list of who you think is good or not? Yeah. Can you give me like a small little breakdown of it? Um, Uzi. Okay. Um, Nav. Okay. <laughs> Joey Badass, Travis Scott. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold up and hold. Okay. At least he said Joey Badass. <laughs> this man had the audacity to put a little pump on his list. Oh, Am shit. I wrong for that? Yes, you are. You are very wrong. She got Lil Uzi Burt on number one. Wait, but no. But Uzi is nice. Uzi is. He is. He's nice. What? I think he's nice. Yeah, he that is. He he's is. nice. Okay. All right. That's Let's save that to the end because we're gonna switch this up. I just had to get that out the way. I had to. But his new album was good. Uh, I think he like broke up with his girlfriend and made a whole album. That sounds that sounds really nice. <laughs> and that sounds really touching. <laughs> but top five. Listen, bro. But you had little pump. You have little pump in your top five. I think he's better than Lil Uzi. Ooh. That is disrespect. What is with you being Anywho. disrespectful? To you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> this is about you. Um. <laughs> how did you get into the hair products? Um. Basically. I always like I was always using these when I was younger. Okay. To growing up, um, but like when I was in high school, I dyed my hair. Like, um, I had like blonde streaks. My whole life, I've had like great hair up until high school because mm -hmm. I was dyeing it, flat ironing it every day, mm -hmm. you know, trying to look like everyone else. And then it damaged my hair, and yeah. I, that really hurt me because I'm like, my hair was like a part of my whole identity. Like everyone knew me as like, oh my gosh, she has my. People would come up to me like, are you mixed? I'm like, no, my parents come straight from the village. Like. <laughs> Wow. I'm not mixed with anything. I'm African, period. Okay. And um, so I made it my duty to, like, you know, restore my hair, and I did that um, right. by doing research on natural products. Like, I was just mixing a lot of stuff, av avocado oil, argan mm -hmm. oil, coconut oil, um, different butters, shea butter, wow. um, and just using it. So I created, I created my own routine, mm -hmm. and then it worked for me. And I, I was like, why not? You know what I mean? Because I created it. Because, like, my hair was damaged and I had to restore it back. Mm -hmm. But also because it was a part of my self-identity. So, like, my brand is not just about, um, it's not just, like, a, a brand with just products. Like, there's a vision behind it, behind it you know what I mean? Okay. It's promoting, like, self-love and, like, um, 
unity amongst like women. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. great. That's great. What made you invest your time and money in, into this type of, you know, this type of, of idea <laughs> or type of, you know, a vision that you have in order to like, you know, create these hair products? Like, what made you go the extra mile in order to like, you know, create this? And other than, you know, with, with the hair, did you ever like get influenced by anybody like that actually, you know, do hair or whatever the case might be? Um, I mean, my, like I mentioned, my mother always did hair, like, not anymore, but when she was, when I was younger, oh, wow. she always worked at a hair salon, like, the hair salons that are on two fifth. Um, wow. yeah, she was one of, the, she was working there, but she never, like, let me, uh, she didn't teach me how to do hair, because she didn't want me doing that, period, like, that, she was very strict about that, I never even asked her to, like, you know, help her or whatever, everyone else's mom would, you know have their daughters, helping mm-hmm. them with the clients hair and stuff, but I would just sit and watch or like go out and play with like my friends. Um, but you asked me what makes me go the extra mile for this. Yeah. Honestly, like the way I see the world is very different from how other people see the world. Mm-hmm. Like I see that like before I started this, I just noticed that like everything that we're living in, like it's a system. You know what I mean? Like you mm-hmm. have Imagine, like, so you have this dream, right? And your dream is to, I don't know, um, make your own li- line of restaurants. Mm. But, and you have $100, right? Mm-hmm. Would you rather pay your rent bill with that $100 to live with security for the now? Mm. Or would you use that $100 to invest it towards your vision and be good later? You mm. know what I mean? So I realized that at a very young age. Mm. Wow. A very young age. Because I noticed when you was talking about it, like, how, like, usually Harlem. Mm-hmm. Especially two fifth is like you walk because I know I've been I've been around like a lot of times and all you see is like hair salons or you know people that sell beauty products or mm-hmm. hair products Absolutely. and it's like you know it's a continuing cycle right um like but we was talking about like natural hair and you know you you embrace your natural hair and right you know I just love natural hair how long. How long has it been since, like, let's say, like, you wear, like, weave or, like, um, when was the last time? Well, weave would be about a year and a half now. Mm. Um, that was my last weave. Mm. And after that, I just decided, like, no, I can't do this anymore. I Why? Can't. What made you, what made you not? Weave is a habit. Not only does it, like, stop you from, like, really, like, I don't want to say loving yourself, but embracing yourself. Mm-hmm. It, but you spend so much money on weave. Would you say it could be an addiction? into buying weave because i know because i know i know a couple females that spend thousands yeah no 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 on bundles weave. go Jeez. for a lot especially like the better quality hair mm-hmm. it is the, more, the more money expensive, right and it's just like a competition like whose bundles you know Cost in the more wind, whatever, and yeah. who, you know like why you gotta go through all that just love yourself you know that's what i realized but it's hard going up and seeing everyone else wear, you know, weaves and mm. stuff like that. And then you look on your head and you have a protective hairstyle that people don't understand. But now mm. I'm just like, fuck it. And I just embrace it. That's a fact. You can't make everybody happy. Hell no. You can't. Make yourself Hell happy no. and start right. that. Right. Absolutely. How does your family feel about you going into the hair business? And, you know, you also do fashion, but we're yeah. going to talk about that later. But how do they feel about, you know, you investing your time into the hair product? Um, now they're supportive. Okay. They're definitely supportive now. Um, mm-hmm. I remember when I first, like, was I was going to start this, my father was like, no, what are you doing? But it's not because, like, he hates my guts. It's because he was he was like, you know, you're going to college. Like, I want to make mm-hmm. sure that's first. You know, he's a concerned parent. I get it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But this is, like, I have a vision, and I have to chase that. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Regardless of anybody, period. Mm-hmm. So... That's what I did, and then, like, now he sees it. He he, he gets it. He, gets he it. supports me 100%. I was in the depths, like, I don't know what I was without him. <laughs> Seriously. That's good. Yeah. You need supportive parents. Definitely. My dad yeah. is super supportive, even with modeling. Like, he's super supportive. That's good. Um, Does he go he to is. the shows that you model in? Not really. No? No. He's more, like, I don't know, emotional. That's all I care about. You know what I mean? Like, you're my dad. I know you're going to be there for me always. You don't even have to come to my stuff, but just be there at the end of the mm-hmm. day emotionally. And he is, so. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a good. very important that's part of my that's life. That's very nice. Wow. And, you know, like, I just became a father last Monday. Yes, last Monday. Oh, yeah. a girl or boy? It's a boy. What's, what's his name? Josiah. 
God bless. Yeah. Like a big pappy chef. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a blessing because once you say emotional, like, you know, you always feel that emotional with right. your kid, you know what I'm saying? I, even though I'm new, but mm-hmm. I'll, I feel it's it. always like, there. I feel it, like, every right. morning when I leave out and I just feel that emotional attachment, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. So, it's definitely, I can, I can kind of like, understand because mm-hmm. I'm just, like I said, I'm new. Right. But, yeah, yeah. definitely where you're coming from, like, you know, all you need is a father. Of course. Or, yeah. That's, Absolutely. Absolutely. My mom is super supportive, too. That's good. She's definitely been there, like, from day one. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? She does what she can. Like, my mom, she didn't go to, she stopped at high, high school in Africa. So, you know what I mean? Like, but she definitely is there. She does, she's there, like, mm-hmm. full on. Full on. So, we noticed that you do fashion, too. Yeah. So, tell us about that, like. Um, well, I've been modeling since I was, like, 16. Since I turned right when I turned 16, mm. and I got introduced to it with my friend Isaiah, he's a photographer, okay. and um, basically he was just like, let me shoot you, and I was, I've, I've always like been watching American Next Time Model when I was younger, mm. that was my show, like I loved that show. I do like that show. What show? American Next Time Model. <laughs> Woo, I when Tyra, no, when Tyra was oh, like I was hosting wa- it. I'm kind of hyped that she's coming back, we'll talk about that. Yeah, she's hosting the next season. Twan, you know about this? It's I just not it. like authentic it. without her. That's the thing. <laughs> exactly. It's not authentic. She's right. Cause she, she is the authenticity of American exactly. Top Model. Cause and they, that's just facts. Because they did one, but she wasn't hosting it, and it wasn't the same. You see? I didn't like I it. Like, Rita I stopped Ora. watching it. I, heard, I don't watch it anymore. I love I Rita Ora, but... Was, was hosting. I think it was her. Yeah, I love Rita Ora, but I just, I just couldn't get the connection. I feel like Tyra did something that pulled the viewers in. Yeah. No, that's because Tyra's a hustler. Like, she's a model, but she definitely, you know... Hustled her way up there, like, and salute to her, like, she, definitely, she's one of the top. That's a fact. <laughs> definitely. So it only makes sense for her to be hosting America's Next Top Model. Exactly. You okay, Lil Pump? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm just as shocked as anybody else that you watch America's Next Top I can't watch America's Next Top Model. How, how, how many seasons did you watch? Because I stopped that too. A lot. Wait, but what's wrong with America's Next Top Model? I binge watched them. No, it's not you know, they, have, they had men and women at a point. Remember before it used to be just girls? No, no, they definitely had. They definitely had guys. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch that one. Oh. But, uh. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh. I just, I don't know. It's just something about it that catches my eye. I think it's interesting. It is. Like, so, you know, like, I'm not into fashion at all. Like, mm-hmm. like I'll get dressed in the dark, come outside, and I'm happy. This <laughs> is like. Not in the fashion. It doesn't bother together. me. But, like, there's something about, I don't know, it's just, it's very interesting walk, uh, watching them walking down, you know, mm-hmm. the aisle, their poses. Okay. I was watching the one the other day, mm-hmm. where it was in Shanghai, when the girl busted her ass on stage in front of her hometown. That was sad. <laughs> Yo, I saw a video like that. It was some girl walking. You didn't see that? She was representing <laughs> wow. her hometown. I've never seen it. No, it was recently. I think it was, what, last week, maybe? She was representing her hometown, the only girl, Chinese or whatever, and she busted her ass, and they showed it on live TV. Oh, let me ask you a question. Yeah, so, was... you actually watched this? I kind of had no choice. But I watched it. You ever sit home and you had no choice to watch Bad Girls Club? No, nah, but I watched Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yeah, me too. Oh, no. God damn. And that's, uh, it's, it's, I don't want, I don't want to talk. Well, let's get back to you, Ma. Yeah, I'm sorry, we got sidetracked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, definitely, like, yeah, I'm still stuck on that conditioner because it really smells. It really no, it smells it, good. It, like, it, it yeah. really smells good. I appreciate that. This smell is actually derived from um, like the vanilla bean oil extract. Yeah, I can smell vanilla. Yeah, sometimes so vanilla it's vanilla. like um, not, it's a natural smell. It's like I add a perfume. I don't add perfume to my products okay. mm-hmm. at all. I try to stay as far away. I actually do stay far away mm-hmm. from chemicals, additives, fragrances, um, just because mm-hmm. some people like they don't. Their skin is very gentle. So when you put fragrances, it irritates it. You're right. I want to make my products for everyone, so try to stay as neutral and basic. Because I know I got gentle skin. Like, cause I don't know what happens to you, but when you go to the barber and they shave, if your skin's too gentle, you bleed. And certain creams that they put on are supposed to open your pores. Don't they like spray alcohol on your hairline? Yeah, I don't like that. What oh. hairline? <laughs> Shots like what? <laughs> no seriously, what hairline? I don't know, bro. <laughs> See, bro, this is. You know I don't want to take mine off. <laughs> I do not want to take it off. Listen, bro, that's why I'm growing my hair off. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. My girl said I should go bald, but I don't want to do it. My girl told me to cut my hair. I don't want to do it. I don't. Uh, 
something about that. Do you no. do you think a guy? How do you feel about that? Yeah, like a guy going bald. Bruce you, Willis with hair or without? Or do you or do you or do you are, are you a Caesar type of? Mm, no, the more hair, the merrier. Like I like hair, so. That's good. Do you see? All right, to get into oh, like if, when if let's say if you're dating a guy. If you if you're dating, it, you're not dating. We gonna we gonna if you if you want to say or right, not. Nah. But do you do you like do, what do you see in a guy? Like do you want him to have Caesar, or do you think he should just go bald? What's your if if, it, if the choice is handed to you? <laughs> I don't think she wants him bald. But if his hairline if his hairline's a little crooked, I just say like look. <laughs> If you want to be bald, okay, but rock it. You know what I mean? Like, don't come looking like a light bulb. Look. Ooh. <laughs> that was in shots. That was. Just... <laughs> Ooh. Is anyone bald here? No. Is any guys? Oh bald? no, no, no. no I really don't mind hair though, but hair um, <laughs> as long as it looks pre presentable, sorry, okay. mm -hmm. and you rocking it, that's what I'm trying to say. Then I'm okay, good. That's good. Whatever. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Definitely, because I see, I see you rocking that dress. So I was just like, yeah. yo, like. But it took me a lot to get to this point. So, that's, you know. that's what I was gonna say. Do you find it hard? Because I know a couple of females that recently, and and it was funny because I feel like a lot of females that I know they say, oh, I'm gonna go natural. I'm gonna go natural. Mm -hmm. And when, when I mean natural, they mean like no makeup either. Oh, okay. And I saw her do it for a while, and I was like, eh. I mean, like I felt like she did look better with makeup mm -hmm. and everything else, but. It didn't last long. Mm -hmm. It lasted her maybe two or three weeks, and then she went back to how she used to be. Mm -hmm. Do you find it hard to like stay with natural hair, or sometimes you feel like you need that extra push, like maybe that extra weave or eyeliner or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. to make you feel better about yourself? Um, honestly, all right. So we're gonna talk about hair first. Okay. We'll so with hair, um, I I I love my hair honestly, okay. but you know. I feel like when you go natural, it's a process. Mm -hmm. It is a process because you got so used to just, you know, your weave is already in, you go to sleep, you wake up, and all you got is just this flat iron a little, and you're done. Okay. With natural <clears throat> hair, it takes time. You have to wake up early. Mm -hmm. You have to braid your hair at night before you go to bed. You got to moisturize it. You know, it, it's a lot. But once you get into that routine, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It does last if you really want, if you mm -hmm. really wanted to. I wanted to go natural, so I made it my mission to go mm -hmm. natural. But some people just jump in it just to do it, and it's like you had you have no purpose. So it's like you're going to be like, what's the point? And plus, people don't have the right tools and stuff to learn how to, like, you know what I mean? Now it's all about, I feel like now it's it, the wave, it's really all about, like, um, YouTube makeup artists, yeah. How to do your mm -hmm. uh, glue your frontal. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like girls are putting glue on their edges. Oh, though. I see that all the time at work. It's horrible. Do they really? Yeah. Yes. Bro, I go to work and it's look, wow. it, it looks like they got like three hairlines. Like you see the glue, yes. then you see their hair, and then you see yes. the weave. It, yo, it that's, looks horrible. That's like it looks hard. Bad. That's, oh my God. And then the problem with that is that it doesn't pull your hair out now. Mm. It's gradual, you know what I mean? So n yeah. when you hit 30 and you your hairline is back and you're a woman, that's why. You, yeah. Exactly. Mm. But um, with makeup, honestly, I love makeup. I love makeup. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I sometimes, I don't wear makeup every single day. Mm -hmm. I don't, actually. Um, I go to parties sometimes without makeup. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Wow. So, but I love makeup because like, I, again, I was surrounded by that too. My mom, she had like, so many makeup palettes growing up and I used to always just go behind her back and just like, you know, <laughs> put some red lipstick mm -hmm. over here and wow. <laughs> yeah, so I just, I just, makeup is something I like. It's okay. a part of me, but it's mm -hmm. not me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I, I rock a, nat a natural face. So what do you do now to promote your hair product, to um, like, actually get it out there? Like what, like they have you attended any hair events or mm -hmm. have you... Absolutely. Yeah. In the summertime, I'm at vending events. Mm -hmm. um, so I go out with my products mm -hmm. and sell it at different festivals mm -hmm. um, and whatnot. I did the Go Harlem Africa Festival. That was like the African Day Festival in Harlem, West Harlem, mm -hmm. on, 20, on 7th, Avenue, 7th, between, 7th and 8th and 116th. Um, but I did several others also. Mm -hmm. um, I also have like several you know, people that do YouTube videos um, and have recommended my product and have done That's reviews great. on it voluntarily. Um, <clears throat> I'm also in a store on 125th. Um, it's a really big beauty store, um, Apollo Beauty Land. Mm -hmm. And um, they have my products there. Right. And sometimes we do promo wow. events there, you know, just that's so good. people can get to know me and like, 
you know, because people just see a bottle. They don't really exactly. see, you know what I mean? And I put my website on it and everything. If you go on my website, you can kind of see, you know, humusbeauty.com. You can kind of see, like, my vision kind of mm -hmm. for the, um, you can actually see my vision, but not a lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. Just buy it. Um, and I think that's good when people actually go into like a beauty salon or a beauty store mm -hmm. and they actually see the person that makes the product. Because I feel like if you put it out there yourself and exactly. you put yourself out there of and course. them getting to know you, it's like more of a reason why they want to buy it and make it show like it's li literally legit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like you got to have that connection between like, you know, mm -hmm. the merchandise. Because if they just see the bottle, they're just going to be like, oh, okay. It's just like, you know. another bottle. Because, you know, because me, I go to the beauty supply store with my girl all the time. My girlfriend has really long hair, mm -hmm. so it's always a pain to find something right. that helps her out. So, I mean, I'm going to tell her about this, though. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I don't even want you to set yourself up today. I was about to. Oh, you was about I to was set about yourself about up. To. That was about to be an L as soon as you got home. <laughs> tell me about it. But, um, just, like... How do you balance school, school, work, and your brand? Like, how do you balance all that with just sleep? Like, cause I know sleep is, oh my God, sleep, sleep is, is key. You need mm. sleep. Sleep is just a blessing. But how do you, like, how do you balance it? Um, definitely determination. Mm -hmm. Like, just having the mindset, like, you know, you got to do this shit, like, and plus, on top of that, you know, not only determination, but I have, like, a lot of to-do lists that help me out. Um, I'm a very organized person, so that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Because if I say I'm, like, my day and my planner is always organized. So I know what I'm going to do for the day. I'm prepared for it. You know what I mean? So I just do it and get it done and do my best at it. Like, I go in, rock it, kill it, it's done, mm -hmm. and now I can go to sleep. That's the type of person that I am. Like, when there's something that's, like, not done, it really fucks with my head. Like, I cannot sleep until I, I got to get up and do it and then, like, you know what I mean? But that's just how I am as a person. Um, and also, just having faith in Allah, like, for real, like, just, like, remembering like all right you're working hard um now this is gonna pay off one day you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i think everyone should have that mindset period mm -hmm. because again what we're living in this going to school and you know working and stuff this is the system trying to kill mm -hmm. your vision and make you submit to it you know what i mean oh my god i love my vision because it's just <laughs> you're just taking words out of my mouth and it's just like no, you're actually real. just it's, saying it's it the, it's the like, truth like it's the truth and not a lot of people see that people are too concerned mm -hmm. with you know, and I'm, not that they shouldn't, but people are concerned with, I got to pay my next bill. I got to buy my kids this. I got to do that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Students too concerned with, oh, my God, what's the next party? Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. I go here to Mercy. I don't go to Mercy parties. Not because I'm bougie or because um, I don't like parties. It's because I have shit to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and plus I'm the type of person when I do party, I make sure tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. class, my ass is there. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's me. <laughs> Let me ask you one question. Mm -hmm. What, what's your whole take on the impressions versus? Do you, are you the type of like, there's people where they value impressions, someone else's impressions more yeah. than actual happiness. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in impressions versus happiness? Um, I understand. You said oppression, right? Yeah, impressions. I understand impression to be fear. I feel like people live their lives not for themselves, but for like, you know, oh my God, what's my mom going to think of me? Or what is my friends going to think of me if I do this, even though I really want to do it and da, 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 you know what I mean? I feel like in life to be successful, you have to conquer that shit. Mm -hmm. You have to like not give a fuck about what someone is going to say, about how someone is going to look at you, or you know what I mean? I feel like su success means like living your true self and being you but it does occur a lot though in the in our society now mm -hmm. everyone's so worried about like oh my god like how am i gonna you know what i mean mm -hmm. and no one really gets to like just just be you right because i know a lot of your family like family members like mm -hmm. they believe in you like you know graduating school because you have mm -hmm. like a lot of people like that like oh when are you graduating yeah mm -hmm. absolutely. or when are you going to do this with but your you, major you want me to tell you stuff? something mm -hmm. 
I feel like if you're chasing the bag and you're still going to school on, you know, on track with your GPA, who's going to tell you shit? Like, mm -hmm. you wanted me to go to school. I'm in school. You want me to, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing that. You know what I mean? And I'm still chasing the bag, so what's the problem now? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, you got to think of it that way. Right. Yeah. Right. It's just people always want to put their input exactly. You know, where and it you know belong. what's crazy too? Those same people that mm -hmm. you want to listen to now and not mm -hmm. make decisions for yourself, they're gonna be the ones like later on when you regret that decision that you didn't mm -hmm. make, chilling for real. Like, what are they gonna do for you? Nothing. And what can you Zero. say? Why would you say that to me? They're gonna be like, Who am I? Who told you to listen to me? Like, exactly. you know what I mean? No, you're right. It, yeah, you like know, you really can't make everyone happy. It's just you. You can't. Right? But that's a hard fear to conquer. Like the fear of not giving a fuck. Yeah. A lot of people say I don't give a fuck. That's a lie. Like you give a fuck. <laughs> my you know bag what I'm of, I mean, my bag of fucks been empty a long time. Wow. So, mm. I don't, <laughs> it takes a lot to get under my skin. It really Lucky does. Then, because a lot yeah, of people just, haven't conquered that fear. I was know? just taught at a young age, like yeah. you just can't really depend on certain people. No. And like it, it's sad. Mm -hmm. It really is because it could be from family to a mm. close friend. You can't depend on people. It's like only yeah. yourself. But there's only a but like you know your circle, mm -hmm. and there's only a handful of people who could fit in your circle. Right. Like this man right here, I've known him. Yes. Before okay. our, our mothers knew each other, mm -hmm. so it was mm -hmm. like like that. So I've known him my whole life. Everyone in my circle I've known my whole life. So it's right. just like I feel like people need to pick and choose wisely, I'm because like then too. there's friends who could bring you down, and you don't want that. Absolutely, absolutely. I keep a very tight circle. Um, I keep every single person that I meet at an arm's length and so I feel like I can trust you and that it takes a lot for me to you know what I mean right. um, also growing up in the hood you mm -hmm. see a lot of shit no seriously no no I, see, I agree I tr trust yeah, me you, you trust see me. a lot of crazy shit so you, you already agree. know like what type of mentality certain people is on you feel me so it, it's just it's crazy like I feel like growing up in the hood, I seen I don't crazy shit. Excuse me, Trust crazy me. No, people, friends mm -hmm. shooting each other, oh, no. like see, slicing each other. Maybe some of the viewers don't understand, but we're from the we're Bronx, mm -hmm. so you see things we're you're not Harlem. supposed to see. Okay, you're from Harlem, but same thing. But it's like the right Bronx there. Oh, don't say don't say the same thing because yeah, we have people out there that's gonna that's be okay, like, oh. The Twitter word. I I know. That's gonna create a Twitter word. Don't come see me then. Anyway, it's the same goddamn thing. They're right there. Was my. Like That's two different countries to compare it to uh, some people, you know. Well, they need to take that shit home with them, Chris. Gotcha. But yeah, like, Bronx, Harlem, like, you see some messed up stuff you're never supposed to see in your life. <laughs> yep. At a young age. At a young age. So, I so feel it like, teaches you. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like that's a good thing. You know it what I'm is. saying? At least you get that out the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's when you true. get older in life, you're like, eh. Yeah. Because I would hate to, like, have a whole, you know, inshallah, God. Like, you know what I mean? A whole empire, and then that shit happened to exactly. me. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'd rather it happen, like, when nah, I'm young, yeah. and then it just be, like, a lesson in my head, like, don't trust mm -hmm. people. That's it, man. Don't. Sad, but that's how it is. Yeah. What, what did you see yourself doing before you started actually doing the hair products? Like, what did you see yourself, like, picture yourself doing or being? I thought I was going to be an obstetrician. Mm. Um, I honestly don't even know why. I wanted to be, actually, now I know why I wanted to be an obstetrician. Just because everyone else is like a doctor or a lawyer, or you know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Like, I also wanted to conform and be like, yeah, well, I want to be a doctor too, and this, but I don't, that's not how I want to spend every day. Of, like, you know, it's a beautiful thing, you know, kids and birth, you know, God bless, but it's just mm -hmm. not for me. Uh -huh. Now that I'm, a, you know, an adult, I see that. That's yeah. awesome. it, man. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to. This is a daily discussion, so we're yes. gonna end this with a daily discussion question. Mm -hmm. What is your take? Well, right now we have the whole Maze versus Cameron that's going on right now. I think it's over. And you know, Maze coming out with the Oracle, uh -huh. and you know, Cam coming out with his song. Yeah. I mean, this song. No, Cause it was garbage. Maze cooked this man. Honestly, but, sorry, I feel like. Continue. You know what's crazy? Wow. I think you asked me that question on purpose because you know I'm from Harlem wow. and you know I'm going to be like Cameron. And I don't know. I like Dipset a lot. I still listen to Dipset to this me day. Me too. Yeah. I like, I, Dipset. I like Cam, honestly. I don't really know. I, I would say Cam just because I'm from Harlem and I listen to him. So you just loyal to Cam because he's from Harlem? And I listen to him, to his music, and he's legendary. He definitely is. In my opinion, he is. <laughs> I, don't, I guess. He is. I'll leave it at that. Shaq, who do you feel like one? 
Oh, well, I have to get to me. Okay. I have to get Just checking. But what, like, mm. <laughs> All right, well, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, well. Listen, we agree. That was it. Listen, no pump top five. But well, anyway, oh, yeah, we wrapped it. up on another episode <laughs> of Dead Discussion, episode six. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It was. So dope. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. How do your hands feel? I soft, love it. Smells good. Uh, I need to try. Let me smell the air conditioner one more time before we go. Yes, no problem. Let me just, let me just take one. It's like a high. Mm. That's what you got, man. It smells like citrusy. Mm. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Tune in. Episode six. This, this conditioner smells so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so good. A little pump. Thank over you. Here. Peace.